What am I even looking at? Like, for real. Where am I? Oh. I guess it's a repeat of what we saw before, the hanging body with the smiling mouth in front of it. I saw a grid of squares and thought it was a puzzle, but I don't think I can interact with it. Oh, we're going down. Where am I? I guess this is me essentially having access to the staircase again in this this version of it, which isn't a very great one. What are these papers? The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said. But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. Wow, thanks, Karen. Hadn't thought of that. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. No beginning and no end. I really didn't understand that story. Probably just some pages torn from the middle of a book. That uh, seemed like a mid beginning, middle, and end to me. Yo, monster, stop. And then they're like, uh-uh. Then they kill her. The end. <laughs> That's a full story. You can't really say it's not. I'm sorry I didn't have a happy moral. And she didn't, like, get to win or whatever. Where the fuck am I? Where? How did I get here? I'm on the- wait, I'm on the fourth floor? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we went downstairs. That's how that works out, I guess. Yeah, I was on the fifth floor, went downstairs, now I'm back on the fourth floor, so... This is the one that I mostly couldn't access. Okay, so both doors were locked, but now I have access. If I turn right, there'll be a door. Then straight ahead will be the main door, but I don't want to use that because it just takes me back where I was, but I should I try to unlock it or something. be going better. Jesus, calm down, Trent Reznor. This music is out of control. We're white. We're fine on health. Not so bad. Trent Reznor just losing his goddamn mind going, I'm gonna burn this whole world down. Get up. Okay. Uh. Uh, I think I just picked up more ammo. I'm doing all right there. Let's plan my exit because I need to get the fuck out of here. That didn't amount to. That was an impossible space. That room I just walked into via the hole in the fence was outside of the known ex environment. So I got two doors on my right, one straight ahead. I think I missed one of the doors. Shit. Are we coming down? No, they're both... They're both... I guess I... I guess I clicked on them somehow or something. Okay. This door on my right's also labeled as blotted out. Is it just not here? Because I haven't clicked on it yet. 
Oh yeah, it's just because it's not here. It's on the map, but not on the world. Not on the world. What was that sound? Uh. Uh. I don't know, I heard it. <laughs> it's, all, it's all quiet now, we're good now. We're, we're chill. I heard a weird beast sound, and it, it didn't sound like any of the things that I knew was that were there. I think I unlocked both sides of the door, so there's that. Huh. I don't know, I thought something new was attacking me, but I don't think anything else showed up, it was just the usual. Who's knocking their shit over? Bunch of animals. Is your standard coins and bills over here? Of course, it's not like money might not come in handy, but it goes without saying that it would be nice to have. But I think I'll pass on it anyway. Why? I mean, I guess they're not overflowing with pockets right now, but I'm like, why not? Just grab some. Wait, but you'll take a coin. The lamp's shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. I mean, I'm no thief. I might act like one now and again, though. Dude, we've been stealing everything. This is not my gun, or my other gun, or my other melee weapon, or other melee weapon. I have a katana, I have body armor. I've been stealing the shit out of stuff. There's no reason to stop now. Silver coin. It's about the size of a quarter. I get the feeling it's really old. A new puzzle item. No idea for the context. What is the silver coin for? What is that in the corner for, for that for that matter? Can't look any closer at it? It looks like a board of wood leaning on a bunch of wires, or maybe even attached to a bunch of wires while there's also a creepy chair in the corner. I'm not sure what to make of that visual. A vending machine? Just a plain old vending machine. This one's selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I'm kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Hmm. Well, I have a coin. Seems like pretty one-to-one -one correlation to have. Vending machine coin. Key, maybe? Nailed it. How did that come out of that hole? That looks way too big. Life insurance key. Okay. I guess that's useful. Yeah. Looks real enough. Life insurance key. Okay, where's life insurance? That's gotta be one of the departments around here. One stop imports. Prinbull and Enos Law Firm. KMN Auto Parts. Gallery of Fine Arts. Water Glass. DD Ad. Mall Geological Survey. A. Hey! Everwhite Design and Construction. I've worked with the USGS before. Last Drop Cafe, Emergency Staircase, Alberton Life Insurance, first floor. Hmm. Echo Interiors and Floor Fashions, Green Ridge Mental Health Clinic. I walked into a mental health clinic and then transitioned into it, into my potentially delusional but also maybe alternate reality hell world why did they, why did they have a bunch of tubs they had bathtubs weird okay so go to the first floor and I guess the door that was locked before should be unlocked okay so now I need to find my way back to an elevator which is also easy to do because I've unlocked the door out there so 
Go out, turn left. And then go straight. We should be good to go. She doesn't seem to be looking at anything in the environment, so... I think that's all we have to find here! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, oh, doggy! <sighs> I was not ready for doggy. Doggy is more threatening. Doggy is fast. Doggy splits head open and bites you with it. Like in that... Frankly, my, my point of reference for that. Stop making sounds at me. Uh, my point of reference is, uh, like the fourth or fifth Resident Evil movie had, had the dogs that had their heads split open when they jump at you, which I guess must have, I don't remember that in Resident Evil necessarily, but I haven't played them all. The Resident Evils I've played just have zombie dogs that are normal. You know, for zombie dogs, which is decidedly abnormal. Creepy ass elevator. Don't like it at all. Life insurance. All right, shotgun's ready. Or other things. All right, not great. I don't want to waste shotguns on them. I like to save shotguns for boss fights. How do I do my other attack, though? Don't I have more than one attack? Oh, you hold it. That's important for these guys. And buzz saws. How many of you are there? Jesus Christ. It's so fucking loud. Okay, there's one door to my left, two by them. I'm not bothering with a melee weapon here. There's just too many guys in a pile. Okay. They're weirdly unreactive. Fuck that was loud. Die. What? I'm a ki I'm kicking a third thing that wasn't either of the things I just fought. What was that? The fuck was that? The fuck was that? Um... This bodes poorly for all the blood and for all the bu bus on noise I've been hearing. What are you looking at? What are you, what are you looking at? What is it, Heather? What do you see? What is it, girl?
This is the end of that crappy fairy tale I found. Was I supposed to find the first part? Because I don't think I did. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes, just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a, she chanted but a single spell. Tu fui, ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry, and then died, and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Tu fui, ego eres. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? That sounded like the monster noise I heard earlier that I, where I freaked out because I thought something was going to hit me. Because I heard a new noise. Wait, did I just say the magic words and the monster vanished that was in the other room? The weird thing? Just like in the story? Is that the implication? I guess we'll see. I guess it might have been completely unnecessary to kill these two guys, because... Can I even go through here? There's a bunch of junk blocking the way. There's literally an opening right there, you can see it. I guess they were so distracted to eating, I didn't have to fight them. Okay, not gonna lie, I got a little turned around here. Whoops, it was back there. It was the middle of the hallway. I'm not hearing it. Yeah. There it is, the breathing is gone. That old sc <laughs> That old school f feel of playing an older video game and all that. Where, because they're all on a cable together, and he, the way they're- they're- I don't know the, the details that well. Oh, this looks not hellish. Did I escape? I think I escaped. But, like, I didn't realize that was a thing to get nostalgic over, or even that- I don't think I even really fully absorbed it when it was happening when I was a kid. But there's the experience of when a screen goes white, and then you hear an increasingly loud buzzing noise coming from the TV from, like, signal interference because of the strength of an all-white signal in the video cable makes the uh, audio cable pick up interference, so you get a buzz noise from the white. A weird way that you used to be able to see audio, essentially. That's been a thing I've been picking up in here. There's a slightly wobbly connection at the end of, the, of my PS2. And I'm also not psyched about my PS2 because it's the... I associate PS2 as being the big black one. So th I got a weird top-loading skinny one that I'm not familiar with because I, I never had a skinny PS1 or PS2. Uh, so they look weird to me. Uh, but the cable's wobbly. I might have to order a new one for the, before the next game I play. I have to sit there and fiddle with it at the beginning of every session because it makes varying levels of buzzing noises and I have to keep fiddling till the buzzing noise mostly goes away and then I have to try to edit out the buzzing noise in uh, in editing afterwards once it, but it's it's mostly quiet enough that doesn't bother me but yeah every time the screen goes completely white I hear a buzzing noise significantly more than anything else because it's almost imperceptible by the time I fix it, I fiddle with it enough but it gets loud almost not loud loud but very noticeable whenever the screen goes white 
I just find that very amusing. My apartment's the other way. But what is this thing blocking the path? Am I still having the ni that nightmare? So close to my home. My home? My dad? Is he okay? I'm sure he is. He must be. Uh, I, I had to break it to you, but... Sean Bean's not great at surviving movies or shows. So, I'm sorry. But your chances aren't amazing. Empty slot? That's interesting. I haven't really been noticing empty slots. I guess because I've always had so many items in my inventory. So we have our house key. Maybe we're going to finally make our way home, I guess. I hope. Anyway, that was actually a relatively short hell period. I think it might have been short. I think I might have spent less time in hell than in, in heaven. Or not heaven. In fog mode is what I'll call the monster areas that aren't hell. Even though we were inside of a building. So there wasn't really much of a chance of fog. I guess this is what set this, this, this game apart from the first two games is we haven't... Yeah, we've never seen fog yet, have we? That's weird to think about, actually. Like, the beginning of Silent Hill 2 was almost like, Yo, remember fog? Because, like, the first game was so foggy, so the entire intro of Silent Hill 2 is like five minutes of walking through fog to a cemetery. This has all been my big walk home. And I guess now we have questions for Dad. We want him to tell us. I don't have anything to do in this building. I have to get home. We need to ask Daddy about... What's up? With my parentage. And my visions. She doesn't know. But I know. At least, at least I know more than she does. Because I know Silent Hill 1 is a thing. And I know who Harry is. I don't have anything else to do in this book in this building. I have to get home. I hope I didn't miss like a street map somewhere. What is that? Path is blocked. Yeah, this this is familiar. Whoa, I'm like as tall as this door. She's been kicking some serious ass, by the way. Like, she's kind of ended up here. No preamble. She's not even here to save anybody. She's just being attacked by weird hell monsters for hours. And just kind of powering through the whole thing. She got attacked by a horrible worm monster thing. And didn't even, like, react. I don't think she, I don't remember if she even said anything. She just, she just kind of did, dealt with it. When a giant horrible worm started coming out of the walls at her. Why are you so tired? I'm not running. Hmm. Daisy Villa Apartment. This looks almost cozy probably live here. I think I finally made it. Is my room number listed here? Daisy Villa Apartment, yep. Number 102. I thought I saw- I thought that sounded familiar. That's not my place. Okay, maybe it's not so cozy. But nothing's attacking me so far. It's just a dust chute, nothing to worry about. Dust chute. I would think laundry chute. That's not my place. So that's probably my place. Curious what I'll see down here. Okay, this place is actually really big. Oh, a save.
What's this doing here? That really pisses me off. It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? Remember who you are. Okay, we've... 16 saves is more than enough. Let's loop back to the beginning now. I don't, I don't need to keep starting, uh, keep making new saves. I, sh I, I usually loop, I should have looped at like six or something. It's always good to have a series of saves. Mailbox is empty. Just in case you have some kind of horrible problem where you made a bad choice earlier or spent a bunch of resources or something that went bad like an hour ago that you can undo it if you really need to, if you're, if you're totally stuck. But it's really unnecessary to have saves dating back to the beginning of the game. Oh, that's not my place either. I just figured the second door would be 102. I'm guessing the one by the... yeah. It's probably the one by the save point. But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Nope, that's the exit. Oh, I'm just wrong about everything. I guess it's not doing me a lot of favors that you just can't see the numbers on any of these doors. This is the stairway, I don't need that. My apartment's number 102 on the ground floor. Yeah, but where the fuck is it? Oh, it's probably the one with the light. Oh yeah, it has a dedicated camera angle. Anything down here? Nope. Yeah, it doesn't have any markings, but when you see when you get there, what you know. Please don't kill me. Daddy? Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should Dad? Dad? 